Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I bring you another pickup review. I know, we just took a break and now I'm back to making pickup videos, that's just how life is. If you're watching this the day that it was released, then Merry Christmas. Uh, thanks for everything guys, for all the subscribers, all of the support, uh, putting up with my bullshit. This hasn't been a very nice year to me. So yeah, basically that. Thank you for being here, for watching the content, and I hope that the next year is better. But anyways, let's get to the point of this video. This is a replica of a very famous pickup that you probably have heard and seen in a thousand guitars. It has been an iconic pickup since the 70s and it, there has been an infinite amount of offsprings based on this specific pickup. You may like it, you may not like it, but you have to agree that it is a hugely influential pickup. And today we will be taking a look at the take of an Aliexpress company on this pickup. Because today we are taking a look at the Downless DH05 Super Distortion copy. As you can see, at least visually, this pickup is really similar to the Demarcio Super Distortion. Because of the lighting it looks kind of white, but this is in their ivory color, which is really just uh, an attempt to not get copyrighted by the Marcy by calling it cream, but you can also get it in black. Today I will be taking a look just at the bridge pickup, but you can get them both. This pickup of course features a ceramic magnet, and the readings that I got from a multimeter are 16.2k ohms of resistance in the full humbucker mode and 8.2k ohms of resistance in the cold split option because yes, this pickup does have a cold split option, which is actually a bit hotter than the Demarcio. At least to the Demarcio page, the super distortion comes around 13.6-13.8k ohms of resistance. But yeah, this is a very simple pickup, those are basically all of the specs, so let's go right into the demo. Okay guys, so here we are, are the demo, as you can see, I have the pickup mounted in my Epiphone Les Paul Studio, this is a mahogany body, mahogany neck with a rosewood fretboard, in case you care about all that shit. As for the effects, I am using a Effector Silencer by Quasa, that's a noise gate. For a boost, all of these distorted tones will be boosted with the TSC 1.1 by Mercurial. And for the IR or the cap simulation, I'm going to be using a York Audio Mesa 2x12 B30 impulse response. And that is going to be loaded into the Ignite NAT IR. I will be telling you guys what I'm going to use for each amplifier. Right now, uh, I'm using a Jesse MX100 by Bitar Amps. This is a JCM800 type of emulation because first we are going to see if we can get some crunch tones uh, so yeah let's see how that sounds <laughs> Okay, so as you can hear, that is definitely something that this pickup can pull through. Uh, despite having the very high output and the ceramic magnet, it's capable of getting those really rock martially tones. Uh, I think that really sounds great, especially with very bright British distortion amps like Marshall's. Uh, but let's see how it sounds with the call split. What tones can we get with that uh, only single call in this pickup?
Okay, that is definitely thinner, uh, not as powerful, but a lot brighter and a lot more defined. If you want maybe more uh, like telly or strutty type of tones, then that's something this can really do. Let's see if we can get something more modern. Okay, so now I'm using the Endel Fireball 25 by Beatar Amps as well. This is a German sounding amplifier as you can see. Uh, very high gain, let's see how that works with this pickup. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds really, really amazing. It sounds really punchy and aggressive, but it doesn't lack any clearness in the tone. It doesn't lack definition. Uh, it's a pretty well-balanced uh, pickup, in my opinion. It doesn't really like lack in any frequencies, sorry. Uh, but yeah, it sounds pretty, pretty okay and really, really good, uh, in my opinion. So let's see if we can maybe get another type of high gain sound. Okay, now I'm using the Nalex Pectifier, dual Pectifier. Uh, this is a Mesa sounding amplifier, dual rectifier, you know, uh, this type of sound, very dark, very scooped. So let's see how this pickup fares against that type of amplifier. <laughs> That sounds really fucking fat, if I do say so myself. That sounds really good. This like very bright pickup against a very very brown wall of sound that is a dual rectifier tone. It complements it amazingly well, in my opinion. That sounded heavy as fuck, and this is drop D. So yeah, it definitely can do high gain. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Now let's see if we can get any lead tones out of this pickup. Okay, so now I'm using the Audio Salt AHM 5050B3. Uh, this is a uh, very obviously 5150 sound. Uh, I'm using the built-in effects for the delay and the reverb, and I'm using the 606 type of FFR, not the EL34. So yeah, let's see how that sounds.
yeah it it does it it definitely does the lead thing sorry for the shit playing i'm not very a lead player i'm much more of a rhythm guy but i think it sounds really okay for that type of tone uh, I don't know if there's that many people that are playing leads with uh, Super Distortion, even with uh, the Mercy one. But at least with this one, it sounds really fucking great. Even if you want a more mellower sound, uh, the, you know, the single curl, the curl split with the tone rolled off, it also sounds kind of good. <laughs> That is also a very, very useful sound for something more classic, more mellower. <clears throat> Maybe the 50-50 is not the right choice for that type of tone, but it does it well regardless. And finally, let's see how it fares for clean tones. Okay, so for the cleans, I'm using the Neural DSP Archetype Cory Wong. I'm using the middle amplifier, the green one, I don't really know what the amps are based on. Uh, and I have a very, very slight reverb, it's not heavy at all, just, you know, tighten the, the clean tone a bit, uh, but yeah, this is how that sounds. Very bright, it, it sounds really nice for that, I'm not much of a clean player, but it sounds very jangly, very bright, uh, maybe a tad bright for what I like about clean tones, but uh, let's hear how it sounds on the single call, or the call split option, sorry. Yeah, it sounds really nice. Uh, obviously a lot quieter because of the output difference, but regardless, sounds pretty nice for cleans. It's a very uh, versatile pickup as you could hear. It can pretty much do any tones that you uh, want for any kind of music. Maybe it's better for some tones better than others. In my opinion, uh, it shines really bright in high gain because that's why I play it the most. But yeah, it's a very all-rounder pickup you would say but that's pretty much everything for the demo let's go to my final thoughts and the outro so i'll see you guys right there okay guys so yeah this is a very nice sounding pickup as you could hear if you are a subscriber you may recognize this neck pickup as the laundering design pickup uh, i had the matching bridge pickup here uh, when i saw the set that has been on since i made that video but i wasn't really getting the tones I wanted out of this guitar with that pickup. That is a really nice pickup, just not what I wanted for this guitar, so I swapped it for this one, and I may keep it for a while. Aesthetically, I'm not the biggest fan, but the tones are amazing. Uh, it's really, really clear. It has a lot of bite, 
uh, but it doesn't sag in the low end or anything like that. It's a very complete pickup if you want to play anything high gain or distortion. It's also a really surprisingly versatile pickup. It's not like a balls to the walls um, metal high gain pickup or anything. You can get a lot of clean tones and you know crunch tones out of this pickup and it, it will pull through. Uh, so yeah, I'm very very happy with this pickup. Again, Dunley's Keep is making really really nice products. So far I haven't gotten a single pickup from them that it's even subpar. They are all pretty fucking good. So would I recommend the Dunley's DH05 Super Distortion uh, copy? Yes, absolutely. This is great. Dunley's again hitting it out of the park. They keep surprising me because their products are amazing and I will keep buying them and using them because they are that good. But that will be pretty much everything for today's video. Again, thanks guys for this entire year. Uh, I almost doubled in subscribers. It's still not much, but you know, I hope that next year we can grow even more as a little community. Thanks to everyone that supports me and that, you know, puts up with my bullshit. Uh, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for liking and sharing the videos and all of that If you really like this video, please leave a like down below that will help me immensely because YouTube would recommend my videos to other people And if you have seen any of my other videos and you like them, please subscribe next year. I'll promise I'll make as much videos as I physically can if you want to buy this specific pickup the link to Aliexpress will be down in the description as well as my Aliexpress referral link. If you want to support my channel and you don't have an Aliexpress account, uh, you can sign in through that. Uh, you get a nice discount, I get a bit of money, we are both happy and you support the channel. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Merry Christmas! Bye!